Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple script that whenever we run it, it changes all the fonts of all of our detective text elements in our document. This is super useful and will teach you how to both go through layers, loop through layers, loop through different fonts, uh, as well as get a random font and loop through all of the text frames available in your Illustrator document. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link down below, follow us there for coding updates, and in the description follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, UXP plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our knowledgeable members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the link in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks like Discord status, code in advance, as well as weekly live streams. And make sure in the description you also check out the links to my AE scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad, where you can check out other tools and things that I make. So the concept for this script is quite simple. We're basically going to loop through all of the layers and text frames in our document. So I'm going to create a new uh, JSX file. We can just call this uh, test.jsx and we'll make sure that we have the JSX extension so that it recognizes the right format. Uh, then we'll just create a sort of main or init function. I like to always do this just so I have a function uh, that I run initially and not everything is global. I like to keep everything a little bit more organized by having this init or main function. The next thing we need to do is create a variable for our assumed open illustrator document. So I'll say document is equal to app dot active document. And at any time, if you want to make sure that you know your document has an actual name and is valid, we'll make sure we have our debugging set up and run it. And you can see here we get readme.ai, which in this case is the name of our open document. Now we'll go ahead and loop through all of the layers within this document. In this case, I have a bunch of random layers and some ones that are actually populated, but we'll want to definitely loop through all of them in most cases. So I'll say var l is equal to zero. L is less than document.layers, and I believe we just say dot length, and then we'll increment l by one. Then to access the text within a layer, for example, here we have this layer which has rectangles, text, some linked images from our computer as these different types of sort of subcategories within the layer. The way we access this is via text frames. So we want to actually check for this specific layer, we're inside of our for loop. So for the given layer we're looking at, which is document dot layer uh, L index L, if the dot text frames dot length is greater than zero, that means we have at least one piece of text inside of it. And that's something we want to change. So we're basically saying while we're looking at the current layer, check the text frames property. If it finds maybe a text frame here or there, uh, the length will be greater than zero. Um, if it has no text frames, the length will be zero and we don't want to do anything. So if the text frames length is greater than zero, we want to then loop through all of the text we can find, all of the text frames, and change each of those fonts. So we need to go even further and create another for loop so that we can loop through specifically these text frames. So I'll say var ll is equal to zero, just another normal loop. Uh, ll is less than our document.layer l.textframes.length increment ll by one and make sure you don't accidentally just do l uh, otherwise that will mess everything up and send you on an infinite loop most likely uh, so now we're looping through this particular layers text frames inside of each text frame you have sort of a text range which then contains your character attributes and the character attributes is what contains all of the juicy information like the font the color and all that so let's create a couple variables We'll call one our text range and another our char attributes. The text range is going to be equal to the current text frame. So we're going to say document.layerl.text 
text frames ll and inside of each text frame we have the property called text range which is why we use that specific variable name because it will match here and we can use that so we now have set the text range or sorry we've accessed the text range we need to set that to the variable text range so we're grabbing the current layers current text frames text range property which this contains all the text and from here you can get things like individual words individual lines individual uh, letters uh, but we want to go a step further and say char attributes is equal to our text range and i believe it's called character attributes and now just so we can see that this is working what i'm going to do is say alert char attributes and if we just alert all the attributes, it's going to give us a lot of information. So let's alert the text font for each of the things that it finds. So if I run this now, it looks like we're going to get an error. Undefined is not an object at line one, or sorry, line eight, column one. I believe this should be layers L. We need to make sure we reference uh, document.layers, not document.layer. Let's try that. Clear the error. Hit still here on line eight let's make sure we just close this save it and run it so here we go now we should get an alert for each of the fonts of each of the detected pieces of text so in this case it starts with acumen concept black italic segoi ui italic segoi ui black uh, nove cento etc and it's going to give us each of the fonts so this is letting us know that we are indeed not only looping through all of our layers we're looping through all of the text and looping through all of the fonts now let's create a function which gives us a random font and we can simply say uh, char attributes dot text font is equal to get random font which is going to be down here a function that we create so Basically, this is going to generate a random font for each individual uh, piece of text. If you wanted to make it the same, I'll show you how to do that momentarily. So the way we get all of the fonts, we're going to say var fonts is equal to app.fonts. Very simple. This gives us an array of all of our fonts. And this actually should be text fonts, not fonts. So uh, let's go ahead and just say alert fonts.length, and this should tell us well, many times, actually, how long it is. Uh, so if we run this, we're going to get many alerts to tell us there are 966 fonts. And in this case, we're getting an error because it's expecting a return value from these fonts. So we saw there's about 960 fonts. How do we get a random one of those? We're going to first create a random integer. So I'm going to say rand int and set this equal to math.floor because we want to make sure it's an integer, it doesn't have any decimals. We're going to say math.floor, math.random, which is built in JavaScript, and to basically generate a random number between zero and a number, you multiply your math.random times the length. So I can say fonts.length. That means that this is going to generate a random integer between zero and our fonts.length, or 966. If you don't believe me, we can actually check. Uh, this is going to give us an error because we're still not returning an actual font. But the first time you can see our random number is 557 then we get an error. So now we need to return the actual font object. All we need to do, because we already have an array full of fonts called fonts, we're just going to feed that our random int. And this is what we're going to return from the function, which is then going to say this current text font should be this random font based on a random integer. So now, if I run this, we should, as you can see, get a random font for every piece of text inside of our document. If we wanted to make all of them the same, we could create a variable outside of these loops, which says maybe var my font is equal to get random font. And instead of then each time through our loop doing the random font, we just do it once at the very beginning, so that way, all of our fonts that get randomly changed will be all the same. So that's how you can go through, loop through your layers, loop through your text, loop through all of that stuff, get a random font, and change each piece of text to be a random font or the same font, all inside of Adobe Illustrator with a script. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code in the GitHub link. Try it out for yourself and uh, make modifications to your Illustrator documents. Make sure you follow us there on, on uh, GitHub for coding updates and below on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks and helps us out financially. And also in the description, make sure you check out the links to uh, AE Scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad to check out some of the other tools I create. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.